Alright, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Alright, really quick, uh, basic introduction on the Arabic alphabet. Um, not gonna get into any details or anything like that, just very basic for beginners, anyone wanting to learn or whatever. Okay, so the first letter is Aleph. Uh, it's the equivalent to the English A. Um, no different, very simple. The next is B. It's the equivalent to the English B. And there's one dot below or beneath it. That's how you can remember that. Um, the next is T, which is the equivalent to the English T. And there's two dots on top. And that's how you can remember that. The next is TH, the equivalent to the English TH, as in thorough. There's three dots on top of that. That's how you can remember that one. Uh, Jim, it's the equivalent to the English J. Um, the next is ha, ha. It's, it's like when you, uh, it's like a hard H, like when um, when you go to clean your glasses off or something, ha, and then wipe it, whatever. It's not ha. That's the next letter. So. Ha is like the name Ahmed or Mahmoud. Um, the next letter is Kha. Um, it's the equivalent. Uh, not even there is no equivalent. Um, some other languages have them. Um, some Celtic languages, uh, Gaelic language. Okay. Um, so I learned to write that as a KH when I'm trying to. Romanize that or transliterate it. Um, the next is dal, which is the equivalent to the English d, no different. Um, the next is dal. Now, the English th can have the three sound or the the sound, um, but there are different letters in Arabic, so dal. To differentiate that between th, I write it as a dh to give it the the sound. Dal. Okay, the next is ra, ra. It's uh, it's not Spanish. It's not Russian. It doesn't need to be overly emphasized or like overly uh, trilled. It's just a like a quick flicker. Ra, ra. Equivalent to the English r. Not really equivalent, but okay. The next is um. Z or Zane, um, equivalent to Z, and uh, the next is Seen, equivalent to English S. Now in Arabic, a Z is always a Z, and an S is always an S. So it's that's why it's Muslim, not Muslim, or Islam, not Islam. Okay, uh, the next is the equivalent to sh sheen sheen um the next is sod there's two s sounds in arabic seen and sod sod is like uh the back seen is in the front sod is more like in the back um i learned to write it as a capital s to differentiate it between seen and the next is Thawd, thawd. It's a, I wrote it as I write it as a capital D to differentiate it between del, del and ta. Uh, again, front and back. Uh, the next is ta, ta. It's like te but ta. So it's uh, it's uh, I write it as a capital T um, to differentiate it between te. There's two different T sounds, and the next is. Law, law, um, and it's like that, but law again. The back, there's two of these sounds of each, but just for a couple letters. Um, and the next is ein, ein, ein. It's in the back of the throat, it's like a gagging sound, kind of. Uh, there really is no equivalent. I learned to, to write it as an X when I'm writing it in English letters um, but most people write it as uh, three which I've recently adopted so ein it's
takes a little while to get used to, but... And the next is, uh, Rhein. Rhein. It's like, uh... It's like a soft G. Uh, or like a... I write it as like a G-H. It's like, um... It's, it's almost like a garbled French R. Rhein. 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 <laughs> okay. So... It's weird pronouncing these letters by themselves and not in like a sentence or a word or anything like that. Okay, so the next is fa, which is the English equivalent to f, no different. Um, the next is cough, cough. It's like a q. It's like a q because the next letter is calf. So there's cough and calf, q and k. Um, but cough is more like sharp in the back of the throat and calf is just like a baby cow or something. So that's how I differentiate between the two is a Q and a K. The next is lamb, just English L. The next is meme, uh, just the English M. And the next is noon, uh, like the English N. Um, some people remember that as like the one dot on top, it's directly above it, like the sun at noon. I don't know. The next is ha, it just, uh, it's not a sharp ha, it's just a regular H, like an English, uh, H, ha. Um, and the next is wow, uh, which carries the w sound, like W, uh, but it also can be used as the oo sound, so you'll see them um, use both but it's wow like the w sound um the next is a yeah um which is the equivalent to y um yeah but sometimes it can carry the e sound like in bumblebee um so like i said i don't want to get into too many details like or too much you know exceptions to the rule or whatever like that just uh i would say you know that was the first thing i did um I don't know. It's this video was just made to you know help people out. Whoever's out there looking at YouTube to learn Arabic. I don't know. Hopefully this uh, helps out a little bit. So, all right. Ma salama yalla bye.